Lead generation is like the number one skill set that you have to master if you want to be successful in this business. Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart, giving you all the tools you need to create an amazing real estate career. Led by top experts in the field, you'll learn how to sell more houses in less time while creating the life you want. Welcome to the Agent Power Huddle. Good morning, everyone. Ooh, small group today. I love the small groups because it's like more one-on-one time. I love it. Okay, not really one-on-one, but you know what I mean. Um, Okay, uh, so we did a poll in the Facebook group. um, What was it last week, I think? And there were a few options of what we want to talk about. And today's uh, topic, I think the second topic was uh, lead generation. So um, we are going to talk about lead generation. If you are here and you can turn on your camera, I would love you to turn on your camera. I was on a call with Krista the other day. Uh, I don't know if you guys are on the the Thrive thing, but she did this like example of what it feels like to have cameras off when you talk. So I'm going to turn my camera off and I'm going to talk to you. And it feels very weird, right? You can't connect with people. There's like, that's like that, that big difference there. So this is what it's like when people's cameras are off, just so you know, on the host side. So if you can turn your cameras on, I would love it because it makes me feel like I'm more connected with you. It was such a great example when Krista did that. I was like, oh, I got to try that because now I know how it feels. <laughs> okay. It's worse, so, it's worse when you see iPhone on there when you have yeah. iPhone. Right. Especially, right. <laughs> Cause then I'm like, Oh, I can see that. I can see that that's Deanna now. Okay. I love it. <laughs> She's waving. You don't have to talk Deanna. It's fine. You're in the car. Um, okay. So lead generation, that's what we want to talk about. Um, how many of you are like confident in generating leads? No. Okay. How many of you believe that like lead generation is like the number one skill set that you have to master if you want to be successful in this business? Yes. Yeah. That's the number one. I mean, lead conversion obviously is important too, but you can't convert leads if you don't have them. So you got to learn to first learn how to generate leads. So there are in, in my experience, in my opinion, there are two ways to generate leads that is paid and organic, right? Organic, I don't consider to be necessarily unpaid, but I consider them to be a different type of lead, like an online versus organic, if you want to look at it that way. Okay. So I'm going to go over my top five paid lead generation resources today. We can talk about them in a little bit more detail if you want. Um, Some of you might be uh, unsurprised to hear about some of these ones because I talk about them often. And then I am going to talk about my top five Maybe I think it's maybe six. I think I changed it. I was doing it. I was like, oh, add one more in there. Add one more in there. So I might have six um, organic uh, lead sources that I really want you guys to consider. If you're doing them, great. If you're not doing them, uh, cool. If you are, let's like talk about how you're doing them and let's see how we can all collaborate and help each other figure out how to be better at generating leads. And the first thing is the reason I want to talk about paid is because you have to put money into your business in order for your business to work for you. Okay, I see that I, I see a lot of people who get a paycheck and or they get a commission check and that commission check goes right into paying off a car, paying off a mortgage, like doing all these things, which is also really, really important. Yes, it's really, really important. I don't want to discount that. However, if there's not any of that saved for other things like your business, it is going to make it a little bit more challenging in the future, right? Um, okay. So here we go. And we actually made this into a PDF so we can actually share this with you. And as you know, I uh, am not the best at uh, doing the present. So we're just going to do it on a good old Canva. Can y'all see this pretty well? Pretty well? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Great. Okay. So we're going to talk real quick about... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I just changed out of it. Darn it. I had it all ready to go. Too much coffee this morning. Okay. Here we go. Um, so the, my top 10 lead sources, the first two we're going to go into are going to be paid. My first two top, top, top street text and agent launch. So if you, if you have, if you know me, you know that I'm a huge fan of street text, right? A huge fan of street text. Street text has filled my database. And when I started with street text, I started with 700 people in my database. I now have over 5,000 people in my database of those 5,000 of the, of that growth, about 65% of them are from street text. 
Of street text leads, I'm going to let you know that's 65% of my online of my online lead source. It's 65%. It's my number one lead source. Number one. <clears throat> Kayla. So um, I was on a call the other day and heard that some people re- think that street text, depending on your location and the com- your community that you live in, can have a different impact. In fact, because I don't feel like I've gotten very high quality leads on my um, street text ads. They've been people looking barely can afford a house. They um, are looking to rent, you know, just that kind of that level. And I even tried doing a luxury uh, lead thing, too. So do what do you think about that? Does it vary from location to location? Um, I think you have to kind of level set your expectations with what you're trying to get from a Facebook lead. Okay. So a Facebook lead, like it's a, it's a general lead, right? It's really going to be in the copy that you put out there. So maybe change the ad, but I'm getting a lot. I get a ton of renters too. I get a ton of people who have credit problems all the time. I would say the majority of my leads probably have credit problems. Okay. But guess what I have in place? Drip campaigns, nurture campaigns, systems, tools, processes to help them improve their credit. Right? So when the time comes for them to buy, I'm going to be the first person they come to. So is the, the, the fact that I get, you know, uh, I would say 150 to 200 street text leads a month of those people who are ready to make a move right now is probably two. Okay. So street text for me is not an immediate lead source. And that's what I think you have to put your mindset around when you're doing any sort of online lead generation is that it's a database builder. So, so really like the, the trick is really like improving your database conversion process. So this is about generating the, this is about generating the info, right? But the conversion is the next step, right? But this is like, unless you can actually generate leads, converting leads isn't going to matter. So yeah, I think that that is a thing. I think in some areas, like leads are a lot more expensive. Like I've heard in LA, leads are really, really, really expensive. I know you're in Spokane. I don't know if your lead source and my lead source are, are similar or sorry, lead cost are similar. Um, but I will say that it really is going to depend on, um, you know, what's your what's your drip campaign look like and level setting the expectations about what to expect. Yeah, maybe I could uh, join you, come on as a as a potential lead for you and follow your drip campaign. I think mine are uh, m- maybe messy. Yeah, there's a lot in there, right? So, so I mean. You know, there's a, when it comes to any sort of lead, we can go to Agent Launch too. Agent Launch is also, they, they specialize in Google Pay Per Click, right? So Google Pay Per Click, it's the same thing. It's a little bit of a, they're a little bit lower on the funnel, right? You're going to do a, a Facebook lead. It's really high up here. It's Facebook leads, in my opinion, take anywhere from 12 to 18 months to convert. That's about my experience in Facebook leads. So right now I'm converting massive, massive, massive street text leads, but they've been in my database for over two years. Okay. So, uh, but with Google, Google, you have a little bit more of a, you're a little bit lower on the funnel, right? It's going to cost you a little bit more. They're a little bit lower because typically uh, the way Google, Google pay per click is set up is they're set up with long form keywords or short form keywords on, on the back end. That's like looking to buy a home in Spokane, uh, selling a home in Spokane, right? So they're a little bit lower on the funnel in the sense that they might be a little bit closer. They're like maybe a three to six months. I've converted a couple of Google pay per click right off the bat. I've, cl- I've closed uh, three this year, then Google pay per click. And they came in and converted from the very first email that went out. So I'm actually in the Tri Cities, Linnea. Oh, I thought you were in Spokane. No, why no. did I think you were in Spokane? I don't know why. Maybe oh, because I you're you, on the west side. It's because, <laughs> it's, because big on, it's because you're on a call the other day and you said something about Spokane. I think oh, that's... I think I went to a meeting there. Yeah, uh, with some right. funding. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I, I knew that. I know. Okay, so sorry. So no what, worries. <laughs> we're all we're all in the same state. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so so the thing with like the thing with like any sort of like online lead source, you guys, is that when you're buying leads online or you're paying for leads, like the likelihood of them converting right now is very slim. It's very slim. So you have to have patience, right? The, the purpose of online leads is to build a database. So at one point, you can essentially stop buying leads and you just have a full database to work off of. Wendy Goss. Wendy Goss has over 60,000 people in her database. 60,000 people. Wow. It didn't happen overnight. Okay. But she, 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 has, she has so many drip campaigns and so many nurture campaigns in place that she has done that Obviously, she has a really good social network, but she's done it with a lot of with a lot of online leads. She's done Y local. She's done 
you know, Google pay per click. She does agent launch. She sends street texts. Like there's so many different sources out there. So you have to remember that the purpose of online leads is to build a database. Okay. Okay. So let me move into my next two here. So my next two are Book Me Solid and KV Core. I've had Chris Harden on here. He he runs Book Me Solid. Do has any has anyone else here ever used Book Me Solid? Okay, Book Me Solid. Uh, Lani is Lani Lani. Sorry, is saying yes. Um, so here's the thing about Book Me Solid. Um, the cool thing is that what he does, it's basically like a virtual open house for you. Okay, so he'll run an ad for you. You can launch your listing. Um, he'll run an ad for you and, um, he will basically, I don't know how he sets it up. I don't really care. It's not my, <laughs> my, he basically sets it up to where they come in to, to your listing in your messenger, in your Facebook messenger. So what happens is you start just having all of these chats come through your Facebook messenger and he sets it up with like auto campaigns. So you can set up some AI campaigns and to follow up with them to the point where you need to pick that, pick it up. And there's, depending on the listing, depending on the price point, I've had, I've had anywhere from like 40, 40 leads to 300 leads. Okay. And I've, I've converted three people from the book me solid ads in the last 12 months. So for me, it's a, it's a pretty good lead source. Um, you know, it, it operates very similar to like a street text just listed, or if you're doing like a, like through KV core, you can do your property boost. It operates very similar to that setup. It's just the way that they talk to you is different. Right. And the cool thing about the book me solid leads is that when you come through, uh, when they come through to you, because they're in your messenger, you're, ch you're having a conversation with them already. So there's no need to like pick up the phone, go into your database, send them a text. You're having a conversation with them in your Facebook Messenger, which is an awesome way to talk to somebody. Um, I think Deanna raised her hand. Can you yeah. give like a cost on some of these programs? Yeah. So Street Text, um, I believe, is uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It's one sixty a month. I have a link here. I can uh, put my link. Uh, Milu, would you mind putting my link in the chat? Um, you can sign up for a seven day free trial. The seven day free trial for Street Text does not allow you to do the home valuation ads, which are my favorite, uh, but you can see how it works as far as like putting people into your database. So it works pretty quickly. Um, so it's about, I think it's 160 a month, um, but I think you have to buy three months upfront um, and then not anymore, Kayla. Yeah, I just okay. I just am rolling off of a six month and I think I got it for 200 bucks per month for six. I'm it's, it's changed. Lale has changed. It's changed, Lale. So it's it's the one sixty for a twelve months, and then it's two fifty for month to month. And what Kayla's saying is six. It's two hundred for six months. Yeah. Okay. There you I'm go. Well, there and try my real geeks. I'm just setting up real geeks, and they have um, the same, I believe, sort of uh, function. So I'm going to give that a roll. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't really know the cost on it more recently, to be honest. I know they were changing some things around, but agent launch, um, agent launch is a, it's a, it's a four, uh, I'm sorry. It's a six month commitment. Who's recently signed up for agent launch. Uh, it depends on what you do with them, but it's a, it's a pretty big commitment because um, he goes all into YouTube. He goes into Google pay per click. Um, I, they don't really do just a Google pay per click ads management alone anymore. Um, so it's teaching you how to get YouTube and Google Google leads. Um, and I believe when I signed up for this program, to be honest with you guys, it was $16,000. Um, oh. Yeah, I don't know what the cost is now, but I mean, they're also my number two, my number two lead source. So the ROI was that, ROI on that was made that back in uh, within 30 days. So there's that. Um, book me solid. When I was uh, the last one I ran, he, it was $300 for an ad. And then your ad spend, which is like $10 a day. But you can buy, I believe, five, uh, a bulk of five um, ads for less than $300 an ad. For, I, think, I think it goes down to like uh, 200 an ad if you buy five or something like that. Okay, so the next one that I have is KV Core. If you are an EXP person, you have KV Core for free. How many of you... I look, I know about KV Core. I know about all of the lead generation benefits within KV Core. Not all. 
OMG. Okay. So <laughs> if you are not with eXp and you and you've heard about KV Core, cool. We're going to look at it right now. If you are, we're going to look at KV Core right now because I want to show you guys all of the benefits within KV Core. There are massive, massive, massive opportunities to generate leads within KV Core. So let me get here real quick. Um, if you're a Remax agent, they're just now pulling that in. So great. Love it. Thank you. Did not know that. Actually, I think I did. I think I heard someone say that. Okay. So we're going to go into look at the back end of KV Core. Um, and when you go into here, so it's in under marketing uh, or under lead engine, actually. So under lead engine, there are um, this option here to get more leads. So within here, within the marketplace in KV Core, you see that there are, um, I don't know, what is this? 30, 40 different different options here. Uh, my favorite within here is the property boost. So the way the property boost works is that when you have a new listing, you can easily market it right through KV Core with a literal click of a button and it'll it'll set up a target marketing for you and it'll basically, it'll boost your listing and it'll drop people right into your CRM. And then as long as you have drip campaigns in place, your drip campaigns can learn to convert them. Okay. You have um, seller leads, which is a Facebook target marketing and Facebook buyer leads. Okay. KV Core also has um, uh, Make It Rain. Haven't have any of you done Make It Rain? No, well, I've heard of it. No. Okay. So Make It Rain is Google Pay per click. Um, if you go into Marketplace Products. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> it's not letting me. <laughs> but there's a lot in here. So you have your nosy neighbor. Nosy neighbor is another way through KV Core that you can actually do um, um, digital and farming at the same time. So if you guys are looking for ways to uh, get leads and you're with eXp or you have KV Core, here you go. Google Display, Google Pay Per Click. Okay. There's a ton in here. So come through here and maybe one day we can actually do like a, I can go and dive, dive more into what KV Core offers you. But there's there's a lot in here. They have handwritten postcards, which I've used those before too. Facebook lead ads. Okay. KV Core is an awesome, awesome lead source. Awesome lead source because you don't have to pay anything extra for it if you already have KV Core. Now you have to pay for the spend, right? Like whenever I say this, you always have to remember there's always ad spend and ad spend is never included. No matter which program you go into, no matter which, which source you use, you always have to pay for your own ad spend. So just remember that, okay? Because no, one, no one's ever going to pay for your ad spend. <laughs> like I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay for someone else's ads. I mean, I might, I might teach them how to do something, but I'm not going to pay them. I'm not going to pay for their ad spend, right? Any questions on that? Okay. So the um, let's go back to here, and then my final uh, paid lead source, you guys. I'm gonna farming. Farming, farming is farming or EDDM, whichever way you want to do it. It is an awesome lead source. And I, I consider this a paid lease, uh, paid, obviously not organic, mostly because it's a lot of money. Farming is farming is a long-term commitment and it's not cheap. I've been farming one neighborhood for two and a half years, two and a half years. I get probably four calls a month. Do you know why I called you? Because I see your postcards every single month for the last two and a half years. You are relentless girl. Do you ever give up? Literally. Two and a half years. Now, the thing about farming that you want to remember is that a lot of these, and a lot of these farm, if you're farming a neighborhood, it's going to take a long conversion process. If you are a high D and you cannot work with an S, do not farm. Because people who are farmer, people who, who come to you through farming are very high S. So you have to be able to comp to compromise to that, that, that personality type. Okay. So if you're a high D and you don't know how to communicate or collaborate well with the other personality types, I probably would not recommend farming. But if you can, farming is an awesome lead source. You just cannot give up. You have to keep going. And the very best farming method I ever learned, you'll have to go find it yourself. If you've never been to one of Krista's uh, three-day boot camps, go join Krista's three-day boot camp. Look into her coaching program. Look into her uh, location domination. Absolutely the best farming method I've ever learned. Absolutely the best. Okay. Organic. You want to talk about organic stuff you don't have to spend money on? I like that. Okay, here we go. So 
organic, we're going to talk real quick um, about agent to agent referrals. This year, I have closed eight agent to agent referral listings. Listings. Agent to agent referrals are my absolute favorite. Because when you're getting a call from another agent who already knows, likes, and trusts you, they are sending you a client who already knows, likes, and trusts them. So guess what happens? That bridge is right there. So these are my favorite, my favorite. How to get more agent to agent referrals, be visible, be visible. This is how this call right here is how I've gotten a lot of mine. Be visible, be visible, give value, be knowledgeable, be collaborative. Like agent to agent referrals are a resource that, yeah, you pay 25% on them, but I mean, you don't really have to work that hard to get the business. You know what I mean? You have to provide excellent service, of course, because you want more, but you don't have to work that hard to get the business. You just have to be you and be authentic and do your thing. And your business, the business actually comes to you. My second one is partner referrals. I didn't put, really put a lot of um, explanation into partner referrals, but what I mean when I say partner referrals are lenders. Um, I get I've got I get quite a few referrals from lenders listings a lot. I get a lot of referrals from lenders. If you are um, uh, in the business of agent attracting, your partner referrals are awesome. How many of you have lenders or title reps beating down your door right now? I want to do business. Knock knock knock. How can I help you? Great. This is how you can help me. They're not going to bring you business right away. They want you to bring them business, which is why they're which is why they're coming to you. But if you're in the business of agent attraction. Okay. Guess what? You know how you can help me? Do you know any other agents in this business who are struggling right now? Any other agents in this business who are who have who need some value? Any other agents in this business who could use some systems or some structure? Right? That's how you can help me. Introduce me to them. So there's two ways you can use partners to get referrals for your business. And if you're in the business of agent attraction, there you go. Um, my third one is. Open houses. How many of you like open houses? No hands. Kayla's like, so-so. Oh, She's like, so-so. So, so. Julie's kind of a so-so. We're kind of like, ah, I don't know. Should I like them? Should I not like them? Oh, she, oh, Julie loves them. I love it. So far, all of my sales, of um, most, all, all of them, half of them have come through, which isn't many, so, but through open houses. Um, I did 52 in my first year because that was face to face with my accent with my things that I didn't have confidence for video things like that only thing I did it was every one Saturday or one Sunday week open house mm -hmm. and I literally my database is only with the open houses and I'm in the industry only now third year in the industry so yeah I still love Open houses are a great way. You have to do it right. So I actually have an entire open house marketing plan. I taught this on one of my agent power huddles. Um, uh, I don't know, a whole long time ago. I could probably teach it again. But there is a whole plan into how you actually market an open house and do it the right way so you can get people into the door. Open houses are not uh, are not a dead way of marketing. I love open houses. I love them. I personally don't do them anymore. So now I'm teaching my team how to do open houses, but I will tell you, Ryan has done in the last, he's been working for me for a few months and he's done, I don't know, four or five open houses. He gets leads from every single open house, every single open house. I actually built my business with open houses. So I love open houses. Open houses can cost you anywhere from $0 to $400. Okay. If you consider the cost of everything that I put into an open house. And maybe one of these days I'll actually show you my open house marketing plan because this market, you know, there's going to be a lot, a lot of houses sitting a lot longer. So my open house marketing plan is really geared toward those longer sitting listings, those listings that have been on the market for too long that need help with marketing, right? Um, those are the open houses that I target when I, in my open house marketing plan. Open houses are an awesome way if you do it right. Now, open houses suck when you have no plan and you literally just put a house up there and you put a sign in the yard and you sit there and be like, okay, buyer, okay, seller, come to me now. Okay, that's a waste of time. Complete waste of time. Because what happens when you do that is that 90% of those buyers are going to come through with an agent or already have an agent, right? Or there's going to be no, no one that comes through <laughs> and you sat there fiddling your thumbs for three or four hours, right? Doesn't sound like fun. I mean, I have way more things. I'm way too busy to sit there, to sit there and do open houses, 
like that. Kayla. What do you do? Will you recommend then doing other people's open houses? I do. And then forming the community around it. Like I'm assuming your plan, I'm going to have to look at your marketing plan, but. Yeah. I'll like someone, Deborah just said, I'd love to see your open house marketing plan. I can, I can do another, another um, of like my calls on my open house marketing plan. You guys, it's a, it's a, it's a, yes, it's a combination of everything. And the reason why open houses are awesome is because if you do it the way that I do it, Okay. You are targeting farming. You're targeting your neighborhood. You're door knocking. You're, you're calling. You're uh, putting ads out on Facebook, on Instagram. Okay. You're doing YouTube videos. So you're hitting every single aspect for one listing, for one listing. So even if it's not your listing, okay, it is probably likely that the agent, if a listing is sitting for too long right now, it's either overpriced or not marketed, right? And usually it's a combination of both. <laughs> usually it's an overpriced listing that isn't marketed the best. So usually that's why I list, that's why a house is sitting, sitting longer, right? So if you can actually market something a lot better, market an open house, you know, you're gonna make that agent love you, which by the way goes back to my number one referral source for organic, which is agent to agent referrals. Right? So you're gonna make that agent love you because you were able to help get traffic to their house. So they look better to their seller, even if the list, even if you're doing it for you. They look better to their seller because guess what? They haven't had any showings for a couple of weeks. You know, they're not getting any traction, but all of a sudden you come in, you can get traction. Oh my God, seller, you're the seller says, Oh my gosh, Asian, you're amazing. Amazing. So we'll go over that. Okay. And then my final, um, uh, nope, I have two more. Uh, my other, so my, I told you I have six on this one. Okay. Sorry. I love organic leads, social platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, YouTube. I don't know why we put TikTok on here. I don't like TikTok, but it's okay. I'm not on TikTok very much. So, and I've never gotten any business from TikTok. So do not ask me, but Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Yes. Absolutely love them. Okay. If you followed my storytelling series, or if you did not go back and rewatch my storytelling series, and you will see why I love Facebook and Instagram organic. Yes. I spend money on Facebook ads. Yes, I do. Okay. But I get a ton of people in my own sphere that have been in my sphere for decades that I didn't even know existed anymore because I just haven't talked to them in so long coming through my social platforms because of my storytelling. I didn't have to pay for that. And those are people that I already know. They already know me. They already like me enough. They trust me enough that they reach out to me after 10 years. Right? Social platforms. Uh, community outreach. How many of you do community outreach in your... Like, how many of you actually do outreach in your community? Okay. So one of the things I did um, last year, and it started with me actually having to sponsor a local magazine, which does cost me money. <laughs> I sponsor two neighborhood magazines, Bonnie Lake and Lake Taps, Washington uh, uh, magazines that go out to over 6,000 residents, 6,000 residents. So I've had a couple of people come to me because of that magazine. But what's actually been even better than that is the business connections I've made because the guy that runs the magazine, he's now connected me to other business leaders. So I'm now partnered with the local food bank and we do a lot of outreach with them who's actually connected me to some community leaders that she owns, that she has, which has actually helped me because we have a lot of people right now coming through that don't have the money to buy a home, which actually makes me very emotional. I get very, very like, that's very, very hard to hear when people who have actual jobs can't afford to live because our state is so expensive. Okay. So that like my connection with her has allowed me to, to have more solutions for them. Okay. Community outreach is really, really, really important. And it doesn't have to be something like partnering with a nonprofit. You don't have to. I love that. But my biggest success story in my local community is um, I was doing a YouTube vlog of my local neighborhood. And my videographer and I, I was like, you want to go get some coffee? He's like, sure. So we stopped into this local coffee shop up here. And I went in there and he started filming. He just pulled out his camera and started filming. And the, the owner comes up to me. She's like, could you guys please be careful of the customers? I was like, yeah, no problem. We won't get them. And we did a great job. Anyway, so I was talking to her. She's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, you know, I have a local YouTube channel. I just like to highlight our neighborhood. I want people to like know how great it is to live here. And she was like, oh, and I said, if you like this, like I'll send it to you. If you like it, let's do one for you yourself. Let's just showcase your business. She said, sure. So we came back, did a showcase of her business. Now that 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 video goes out in a lot of my drip campaigns. But that turned into her calling me a couple months later saying, hey, I need to talk to you about something in confidence. We want to sell our house and we're looking for a new one. It turned into a two and a half million dollar client, you guys. By going in and having a cup of coffee. 
So community outreach is, it probably should be my number one lead source. It's my favorite lead source because it's that face-to-face connection. It's that every time I walk in, hey, Linnea, how's it going? Right? It's that, hey, you know, if I ever need a place to do to do an event, a local event, hey, can I use your shop? Of course you can use our shop, right? All of my clients now, they all get a bag of coffee from this coffee shop. Whenever I do a closing, they all get a bag of coffee from this coffee shop. So I'm supporting their business forever and ongoing, all because I walked in with a camera one day and was not afraid to shoot video. So if any of you have ever been afraid to shoot a community video, don't plan it, don't script it, don't do all the things, just walk in and shoot it. It's amazing what happens when you just shoot video. Hmm. Awesome. Um, Okay, and then final... Nope. I have two more. Oh no, this is it. Final is past client referrals. Okay. We all talk about, we all talk about referrals, right? We talk about reviews and referrals, but I absolutely love past client referrals. So there is a tactic that you have to do to get those past client referrals. I'm going to give you guys a little secret and then I'm I'm going to get the link. I'm going to put it in the Facebook group for you. A little secret of how past client referrals work really well for me. is an awesome, awesome program called Client Giant. How many of you heard of Client Giant? If you haven't, I'm going to give you my referral link. I would love you to go check it out with my referral link. Pretty please. Let me find it here for you. Um, Oh, it's the only one I don't have saved in my thing. Okay, I'll get it for you real quick. Okay, but Client Giant, um, it's $99 per year per client. So it's marketing, right? Goes into your marketing expense. $99 per year per client. And you set them up for what's called top of mind. So every quarter, they get a gift with a handwritten note. And the gift is very relevant. It's like a spring cleaning kit, right? Last year during the holidays, the gift was um, the question game. Perfect for holiday gatherings. You know how many of my clients sent me little pictures like, Linnea, we played this little game. It was so fun. I was like, oh my God. Okay. Client Giant is awesome. And that has been like the number one game changer in my business because, you know, I'll be honest, like I was a Brian Buffini, I was in Brian Buffini coaching for a couple of years and it was like the Popeyes. Like the the Popeyes and the, you know, the, 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 whatever, thank you cards and all that. I forgot. I'm really bad at that kind of stuff. I'm really bad. Like, I don't, I don't think about just like going up to someone's neighborhood and just, I don't care if it's a past client or a stranger. I don't still want to knock on someone's door and be like, hello, I have a gift for you. This is not my thing. Not my thing. Right. So it didn't really work for me. So client giant has actually taken away that, that. So I spend whatever I spend per year on it, $99 per client. I go through an audit occasionally, but every single quarter, your clients are getting a gift from you. So it gives you a reason to reach out to them if they don't, if they'll, or they'll reach out to you. They most of them reach out to me and just say, thank you. Right. But if they don't, then I get a reason. Hey, I just want to make sure have you guys been getting the gift that I've been sending you? I just want to make sure the address is correct. It allows you to have a reason to call your clients on a regular basis, right? And you never, ever, ever have to even ask them for a referral, ever. Because I know you're in the real estate business, especially if you're active on social. So Client Giant is awesome. So I'm going to get you my referral link for that if you guys want to look into it. Let me log in here. And that was my list of 11 lead generation sources. Questions? Anything you want to learn more about so I can add it to my list for the future? Um, Linia, send me a link. I'm signing up for that giant thing. Right now I'm doing the pub buys, but definitely will use that. It saves uh, me I just put the link. a lot of time. Yeah, I just put the link in the uh, chat for you. So. Linnea, yeah. do you like referring back to your open house marketing plan? Is that something that you have stored somewhere that we can go and, and just watch prior to waiting for... Um, you're, you know, yeah, it's in the, um, it's in the Facebook group, Kayla. And if you don't see it in there, so send me an email and let me know, or send me a message and let me know. I'm I'm on the tech and I'm not. So, okay. Facebook group. And yeah, in my Facebook group, the, you know what, you know, which Facebook group that is real talk. Yep. That one. Um, just go search there, uh, for open house and, um, it should be there. And if it's not just like I said, send me a message and we'll, we'll go back and get it. Think of that search use in open house. (laughs) I mean, yeah. in Facebook. Yeah, it's awesome. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. 
Okay, so I got that people want to know more unless you want to hurry and watch it. That's awesome. Do that, Kayla. But people want to know more about the open house marketing plan. So maybe that's a, a source that I, maybe that's a one that I re- recycle next, next yeah, time. Yeah, that and like in my case, um, I've not yet had a, my own listing. So, and now that I'm with EXP, I don't have, it's you know, I don't have a group of 90 other agents that are saying, can somebody do an open house for me this weekend? So, um now I've got a change of mindset to where I'm reaching out to other agents in my community, asking them, Hey, can I do an open house for you? Yeah. So it's called if you, prospecting the MLS. Prospecting the MLS. Okay. Yeah. Cause open houses have been a good source of um, leads that convert to buyers. Well, open houses also are great. I got, I got my first two listings from an open house. Mm-hmm. I, I got, I got my first, I got, I'm trying to think if I ever got, I got a couple of buyers from an open house, but most of my open houses have uh, come from, or listings um, have, have resulted in listings is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Suck on my words there for a minute. So, Jui. Kyla, set up a search for yourself in the MLS when any listing that comes in with the, your EXP uh, office number. So in your MLS, create a search saying that hey it's any coming soon listings that where you want to do the open houses that's what i do and then call the agent so if somebody's doing the coming soon but they don't know what the hosting person is to start with so that you will know the agents who are in the area have more listings do you find exp teams in your area i have a pretty small area so but that they're not really a i'm not exp but Um, i know like with with my uh, kw but still i search it with the office number and i created a search for me that email comes in as coming soon as soon as that coming soon hits no So I think um, I will. So next week I will go over my open house plan again. I think it, I think last time I did it, it was a two part series because it's kind of it's kind of big. I mean it's a it's like it's like it's like marketing a listing for about twenty hours. It's about tw- it's a twenty hour plan. So um, I'll I'll see if I can go over go over it in one session <laughs> next week. But if not, it might be two. So I all right, just guys. wanted to say. Um, Linnea, I took your training and your marketing part. I wasn't so sure what to do with it. Mm-hmm. But uh, since Kayla, you are with DXP, uh, I highly recommend if you can pay like $280 for a KB Core Bootcamp. And there everything is explained very well. They're also going to make your uh, signature there um, and do, uh, and they will set up your drip campaigns in KB Core because everything that is in KB Core it's it's not good, just not good. You can open and see the drip campaigns, but in this package, uh, you know, they will set up for buyer and seller drip campaigns, very good one. Do the signature and the bootcamp is gonna structure very well the marketing stuff that actually Linnea uses. And that wasn't so understandable to me, uh, but everything came on place after me taking the bootcamp. Uh, including in this bootcamp, it's going to show you how to put the uh, listing in a uh, great list and stuff. Everything is going to uh, keep for something that I had no idea. Okay. And Thank I you. thought it's going to take too much time, but actually it's not. It's just a few buttons. So I appreciate it. Um, okay. And sorry. sorry. And a quick, quick thing is on, if you go on Linea's YouTube, she has that entire training in part two. So if you really want to wait, I mean, if you don't want to wait, what I mean, you can do that open house training. I took that twice before, like every time, if I need a refresher before I do my next open house. Yeah. So you are you talking about Linnea's open house training kit? Yeah, it's on YouTube? our YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that. So I follow her like crazy. You guys know, I love, love, love open houses. Okay. I love them. We just got to do them right. So don't waste your time. Will you put your, I'm building a new website with real geeks and um, I'm using you and Wendy for my guides on things. And would you put your email? Cause I, I Google you, but at your, your hot or uh, bot site comes up and then I, that's the first thing that comes up anyway. There you go. 
Thank you. Or, you know, I'll be honest. Did I, did I stalk you? <laughs> no, you're, I'll be honest with you. Easier to get a hold of me if you message me. Okay. Message me just on Facebook or whatnot. Cause I'm my email, you guys. If... Oh, no, I meant your face, your, your web address. Oh, 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 your, my web, web address. Here What's your key, what key website you're using? Do you want, I have three websites. Okay. Which one do you want? Real Geeks, my branding site or KV Core? Let's do, I have KV Core and I'm just building out my Real Geeks. So let's try that one maybe. Are you happy with Real Geeks? I love Real Geeks. Do you, are, do you use their um, their ad campaign? I have not done it yet. No, because I because uh, I like Street Text. They do the same thing Street Text does. Uh, it is because I have Street Text and I'm going to stop doing Street Text and use uh, Real Geeks. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm pretty excited. I, I just got it set up and linked into my Facebook, but it's you can do videos and send right from your built campaigns right out of it. So I'm going to do comparative analysis right now, but um, you should go watch one of the training videos on using Facebook ads. I will one day. I will one day. I don't have time to watch any other training. Oh, <laughs> it's right a short one, but it's pretty. It, it's exciting what ha, the capability that it has to do in Real Geeks. But yeah, I've I've looked into it. I just I just didn't leave because I'm happy with Street Text. So if you but if you're not happy with Street Text, then yeah, definitely look into something different. But I'm yeah. also like I'm also the if it's not broke, don't fix it. Like don't get the squirrel syndrome. <laughs> don't get squirrel. Yeah. Syndrome. Focus on one thing and just do it. So okay, okay. we are well over, we are well over time. Um, thank you everyone. If you, um, have any questions, find me Facebook is the easiest way to find me or Instagram. In real geeks, how do you incorporate funnels? How do I incorporate funnels? In real geeks website. Uh, I just, I, I ping everything over to my CRM. I don't do anything on, I, everything comes from KB core or real gigs and funnels into follow up boss and everything is done through follow up boss. I don't have any, I don't have any drip campaign set up anywhere else. Hmm. So. Then you're paying so much for Real Geeks website, right? Every month, three hundred dollars. Yeah, but my Google Paper Click spend went way down when I went to Real Geeks. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's like it, it washed for me. I was in Real Geeks and then changed it, so it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's a great website. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you, Have a great day. Have a great week. thank you very much. If you'd like more information or to get connected to the Agent Power Huddle, join our free Facebook group. This call was designed for the agents in our EXP organization, but open to any agent from any brokerage. If you're a guest and you're interested in learning more about EXP or our specific resources within the Agent Collective, reach out to the person who invited you to this call to get more info. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.